I'm giving you a complete guide to creating Pixar style AI animations for a kids YouTube channel using the amazing new Luma Dream Machine video generator. We'll walk through the entire process, starting from finding a video idea that we know people will want to watch, and then generate the best looking images for our story. I'll show you how to animate the images using the Luma AI video generator, which in my opinion is the best AI video generator that's out there. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. The first step for creating an AI video animation is coming up with a good idea. This is actually the most important part of the process because the video idea determines the ceiling on how well a video can perform. I'm going to animate a classic story from a book called The Aesop for Children. I'll put all the links in the description. If you're not familiar with Aesop, he's a famous storyteller from ancient Greece who's known for stories like The Hare and the Turtoise. That's the one where the rabbit runs really fast, but the turtle catches up and wins in the end because slow and steady wins a race. Or The Shepherd Boy and the Wolf, famously known for The Boy Who Cried Wolf. To prove that making an AI animation of these stories is worthwhile, let's do a quick YouTube search and we find all different sorts of animations of these stories that get tons of views, ranging from hundreds of thousands to millions. I'm going to animate one of my favorite stories, The Lion and the Mouse. Here's an example that did a crazy 71 million views. If we take a look at the content of these videos, they are really well made, but it's nothing crazy. And I think that with all the AI tools available to us, we can create something that's just as engaging. Now that we have the idea down, let's make the script for the AI animation. This is the original story from a public government archive. I'm going to copy the text from it and paste it into a Google Docs. This book is public domain in the US, so there's no copyright issues. What I've done now is split the script into sections for each animation sequence. This is a pretty simple process. Basically, I just found where it would make sense for the visuals in the story to change. For example, in the opening scene, it starts with a lion sleeping in a forest. In the next scene, a mouse finds the lion by accident. And then in the third scene, the mouse tries to run away, but it bumps into the lion's nose. We'll be generating an AI image for each of these scenes and then animating them with an AI video generator. Since AI video works really really well with Pixar style animations, I'm going to use 3D Pixar style images to animate into a video. To create the images, I use the Midjourney AI image generator. The first step is to find the art style. I'm going to use this image here I generated. This is going to be a style reference for Midjourney. Then inside the prompt bar, I'll use this image attachment icon to upload my style reference. Make sure to hover over the image and select the paperclip symbol. This tells Midjourney to generate images that have the same style as our reference. The prompts that I used were fairly simple. You don't need anything overly complicated. For the first thing in the script with a lion is sleeping in the forest, I just roughly described the image with a lion sleeping peacefully in a forest. And then added dash dash AR 16 to 9 at the end to get a widescreen aspect ratio. And Midjourney generates images matching the prompt in the exact same style as our style reference. I'll show a couple other prompts I used on the screen. I generated an image for each scene of the animation, and short prompts work perfectly fine. A few images were more complicated to get. For scenes with both the lion and the mouse inside of them, the AI frequently mixes them up. You'll notice that in this image, the mouse kind of looks like a lion, so I had to rerun this prompt a bunch of times to get good results. So I finished creating the images for our animation. Now it's time to use a Luma video generator to animate them. Inside the prompt bar, use this uploader icon to attach an image to animate. Then make sure the enhanced prompt box is turned off. This will add a lot of unnecessary motion into our animations. Then in the prompt bar, roughly describe what the scene is. For example, a sleeping lion. Luma is pretty good at animating these 3D Pixar style cartoons. However, sometimes you can create too much motion and the video starts distorting. We don't want that and the video isn't usable. To deal with this, add words like subtle motion to the prompt. This reduces the amount of camera movement, so the video won't distort so much. Luma produces 5 second videos, but you can extend them all the way up to 15 seconds. Just use this extend button, enter a simple prompt like the camera zooms in. And once again, turn off the enhanced prompt feature. Luma extends the video 5 seconds every time you do this. I finished generating all the videos and now it's time to create the AI voice and narration. 
I'm using the 11 laughs for this. It's really easy to use. Inside the voices page, go to the library tab. From here, you can pick and choose from a bunch of different AI voices to use for the animation. And you can filter them by language, the gender, and even the age. Let's preview one of the voices. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. If you like what you hear, add it to the voice lab. For the free version, you're allowed three voices at a time. Then at the top of the page, head back to my voices. Pick the voice you want to use and enter the text into the prompt to generate the AI voiceover. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. So now we finished with the AI videos and also the AI voiceover. Now it's the fun part where we get to put everything together in the video editing process. I use CapCut to edit videos. It's free and simple to use. Just open a new project and import the videos and voices into CapCut. I like to organize them into different folders for voices, videos, to make everything a bit cleaner. From there, just drag and drop all of our materials onto the timeline in the correct order. We can also add in AI generated captions to make everything easier to understand. Go to this captions tab to automatically generate captions with a voiceover. You can change up the font and make the captions larger or smaller depending on what you want for the video. For sound effects and music, I use Artlist, but you can use any other site with stock sound effects. Look for sounds that will work well with our animation, like ambient forest noises. We can download it and add it into the animation. And here's the final result. A lion lay asleep in the forest, his great head resting on his paws. A timid little mouse came upon him unexpectedly, and in her fright and haste to get away, ran across the lion's nose. Roused from his nap, the lion laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill her. Spare me! Begged the poor mouse. Please let me go, and someday I will surely repay you. The lion was much amused to think that a mouse could ever help him, but he was generous and finally let the mouse go. Some days later, while stalking his prey in the forest, the lion was caught in the toils of a hunter's net. Unable to free himself, he filled the forest with his angry roaring. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. Running to one of the great ropes that bound him, she gnawed it until it parted. And soon the lion was free. You laughed when I said I would repay you, said the mouse. Now you see that even a mouse can help a lion. A kindness is never wasted. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to use Luma AI to animate your characters and bring them to life, go and take a look at this tutorial I made over here. Thank you.